What's up guys, this is RG giving you another high definition broadcast. As you can see, we are on Unison League in the group chat and it's paused because I am going to do a ultimate lab run with a mix of archers and mages. So this is for people who actually want to incorporate archers, lancers, and uh, other classes into uh, this uh, ultimate lab run and try to complete it with uh, those classes. Um, before I get started I wanted to tell you about uh, some of the avid supporters that I have here and I want to shout out uh, Zespire, uh, Chi Meng, and Justin T. Thank you guys so much for your support. They were actually uh, generous enough to donate to my uh, channel so I really really appreciate that guys and thank you so much. Um, so let's go ahead and get into the tutorial. Uh, on your right side of the screen, there will be some monsters that we're going to take onto this uh, run. Actually, um, the golem is my favorite for this run uh, because he's a haste monster that actually debuffs the magic defense. Um, and a lot of mages run this, archers uh, run this uh, because they all have magic attack. If you're running like an all lancer build, I would suggest replacing the golem with the dinosaur. I forget his exact name, but he's a it's like a dinosaur haste monster that actually debuffs the defense. You can also go with an egg if you don't have any of those. Uh, the egg actually debuffs defense and it's better than like using a goblin or something like that. So. Um, the next monster I'm going to talk about now is the Choo Choo or the Choo Choo Lien or I don't know how to actually say that but uh, yeah the Choo Choo uh, is basically for buffs so if you actually have Valkyrie that's good too but a lot of people don't have Valkyries uh, but a lot of people do have Choo Choo's so they, they might be in your uh, bank and you'd be like oh well what is this like little like SR monster that's like green never used it up that up uh, the skill all the way up to the highest level uh, which is 5 and then get it to SSR if you could and then you can use it actually in this run one of my um, killed uh, one of my friends actually my real life friend KG uh, is using a choo choo that's level 4 or 3 or something so it doesn't even have to be the highest level and you can pull it off so choo choo for buffs golem for haste Nyx actually is going to be used only on the last boss um, and then Fire Drake, you can actually use that instead of Nyx if you if you want to. Uh, Nyx, I would suggest, is a little bit better. But uh, if you don't have any Nyxes in your party, you can use Fire Drake. So this is kind of like a poor man's uh, ulti lab run if you uh, wanted to do that. Uh, basically, it's just for uh, getting the uh, monster. It's not for trying to get to the highest level of ulti lab on the charts or something like that. Um, I might do one of those runs uh, in the near future, but for this one, it's just to get people uh, that are watching my channel to be able to get uh, Hekka, um, which is actually the end game mob, um, for themselves, uh, and if they're not mages or archers or whatever. So let's go ahead and uh, start the video here. And basically, what you want to do here is uh, make sure that. Um, you know that you're going to be going in at a specific time and you want to get there as soon as you possibly can because if you have somebody come in late then the DPS is not going to be optimal it's going to be a little bit less than, than what you need to have at that certain moment so always always like look real quick boom instantly went in that's very important if everybody gets in at, at like the, the very beginning it's great it looks like pretty much everyone's getting in I'm just spamming lethal strikes as you can see. I didn't even use hunt right there because the first mob is going to go down as fast as possible. Um, if you use your lethal strike, if you use your hunt first and you're the first one in, then you're you're losing DPS. So think about that. Um, uh, what we actually set up is the top people are going to top attack the top mobs and the bottom people attack the bottom mobs. However, I just keep spamming my um, my skills right as they come uh, as the uh, the battle uh, commences for the next round. So at this point we are starting to build unison and we will start a unison around 5 I think if 5 or 6. So just um, think about that. Uh, as far as your skills go uh, as an archer I would take this skill set right here. So just think about um, having that skill set as an archer. Um, as a mage it would be um, the skill set that I took before, but I'll put a skill set down here in the uh, annotations and in the description for you guys. So, right now we're actually um, 
going to kill off this last uh, these last mobs before we um, unison. And then I actually put the exclamation point up so that I'm telling people, hey, by the way, I have unison, everyone has unison, and we are going to start unison right now. So one tactic you can do before unison is attack the targets. Uh, so that's what I do sometimes, and I didn't have any of my skills up. But let, let's look at uh, the actual unison we're using. Three haste, two buff, okay? So we're using three, if you had three golems, I would say use three golems and then two choo-choos. Or three golems, two valkyries. Um, you could all do the, the three dinosaurs and two uh, choo-choos and, and you know, etc, etc. Basically, three haste monsters, two buffs. So, once we get our uh, buffs down, I just instantly attack. Um, uh, or they instantly attack. I saved my attacks because I knew they were gonna instantly attack, right? So you don't have, you don't want to bust everybody's cooldowns at once. Now I can attack because I know that uh, they don't have all their cooldowns, and I use all my cooldowns there. So you, it's it's a game of rotating cooldowns and seeing, like, kind of knowing when somebody's gonna attack a target, and you don't have to attack a target it's because you don't want to waste all your cooldowns at once, right? So. Um, also a good thing to memorize is maybe like the monsters that come in on each uh, level So if you guys watch the video and just jot down which monsters come in on each level um, You can realize when you can bust out your big cooldowns for the bigger monsters or save your uh, bigger cooldowns for um, The bigger monsters later and if say if there's like a three mob you don't want to waste like a meteor on like a little tiny mob, right? So um, Now look at the buffs guys you see how the buff just went down to five I'm looking at that and then it was at 6 now it's at 5 so that means that the buffs are running down that means that I'm gonna refresh the buffs that's why I put up my exclamation point right now look at the buffs again it's 3 now so it's going down I, I put my um, lethal strikes out or my cir high circle snipe out and then I put my buff up because I we need those buffs to progress through the match as well as we need the uh, haste to increase our gauge of cost being able to be conservative with our cost and have enough for the very last boss, right? So again, doing a 3 haste, 2 buff unison all the way to the very end where um, we're gonna fight the last boss 3 haste, 2 buff, okay? So just make sure uh, you're kinda looking at those buffs as they run down the way that you know when you're gonna need to use your buffs again like I said before, when they come down, when you see that 6 um, attack and magic attack go to a five. That means that the the um, actual green uh, mon uh, wind monster, his the buff that he gave you, the plus one, just ran out. So that means that your choo choos are gonna run out right after that. Okay. So right now I'm just cycling out um, my my uh, hunt and my lethal, and just making sure that I use them correctly, making sure I don't waste any of the uh, damage that I can use. Waiting for my unison to come back up just using as much of my damage as I possibly can and you guys might be like why are you using cure well I mean uh, why are you using cure because the last boss it's like you pretty much have to have uh, one heal skill unless your DPS is incredibly crazy where you can kill them in like a couple seconds um, so you would usually put one heal in there alright now you guys see the buffs going down again five right they're at, they're at five right now and they're gonna go back down to three and they're gonna go down again so we're gonna attack right here and then we're gonna attack again and then we're gonna use our buffs right so attack attack with the buffs we actually did a high amount of damage to that um, to these uh, dinosaur oh by the way that's a dinosaur that um, actually does the negative defense so if you guys have that dinosaur right there the grandosaur then uh, that's what I was talking about earlier when I said either golem or the dinosaur that's the dinosaur that he does negative defense instead of negative magic defense so um, yeah that's when we you refresh your buffs guys we probably could have done it a little bit earlier than that however that's fine uh, how it is right here so this next um, this next phase right here is one of the most important uh, battles right here is versus the bird uh, this bird it, he actually gives does a heal uh, like the remaining like 50% and lower he'll pop a heal um, which actually heals him for a lot. So this is actually a DPS check. If you guys don't have enough DPS to DPS through his heal, you probably won't be able to beat this. Um, however, you could supplement it by um, by unisoning right now, like right now. You could do it and then 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 DPS him down. But if you if you should have enough DPS, to, even if he heals right now, you should be able to DPS him through it. 
So we're just busting out all our cooldowns. Uh, Karo should probably heal himself if he can. He gets recovered by Luke, as you can see. But yes, DPS was good. We we were able to do um, a good amount of damage. And now we're going to unison again once we throw a couple of attacks out. So throw a couple of attacks out, get get the break up on on your uh, that golem, and then we're gonna use the unison right here. The reason we're using unison here is because uh, we want to get another unison by the time the wolf comes because we we definitely want the buffs for the wolf the very beginning uh, stages of the wolf but we also want a unison uh, for the wolf um, as well because we're, we're going to unison after he debuffs us. Now the important part about this actual uh, phase is that the golem most of the time you don't want to use your lethal strikes or high social circle snipe or meteor until he's broken right uh, because if you're if he's not broken sometimes it does one damage you see that one damage that somebody was doing that's because he's he wasn't broken and that it wasn't high enough ability power now that he's broken you can see the damage is rolling in really really smoothly on him and he's getting uh taken down really quickly uh so just make sure if you have like uh, a break on him that's when you want to bust the dps out you don't want to bust out your meteor especially when he he's not broken High Circle Snipe and, and Lethal Strike is not too bad because that actually has a chance to break, but Meteor definitely don't use it until he's broken. So these guys, um, as you can see, our buffs are almost about to be up. Uh, there he got debuffed. Careful because we don't want to... Right here, we actually unison uh, too early because um, Luke and uh, the other guy on the bottom, I think it's Mila. Yeah, uh, Myla actually um, didn't have unison at the time. I put up my uh, exclamation point, and then um, actually Karos was the one who put his um, his haste up. But usually in my runs, I put the exclamation point saying that we unison as soon as we got it. And in his runs, we put he puts the unison up when he just unisons when anybody puts the exclamation point honestly I would I would just look at everybody's uh, bar if, if somebody puts an exclamation point look at everybody's bar before you unison so right now uh, we did get the debuffs again so uh, that's what happened uh, after the unison and we're just busting out as much DPS as possible so this was a mistake at this point okay guys so don't follow our lead in this exact moment but um, we do have unison right now everyone has unison before the last boss which is which is very good so at this point, uh, we do have to pop that Nyx. This is a crucial point. Nyx is popped, and we're doing separate unisons, as you guys can see. We do different unisons now, because the Nyx is going to give you that negative attack uh, damage on the boss and negative uh, magic defense, and we're using separate unisons because we don't want to kill the time. If you use a, a same unison, the same element unison, it actually makes the time uh, long, uh, longer. It draws it out more. As you can see on the upper right of your screen, the time is still going down as the unisons are going. So right now we're cycling unisons out. Every time he attacks, um, the Hecaton, or every time he attacks, we're cycling out unisons. So as you can see, every time he's using the, the thousand strike, the unisons go out. And there, here comes the fire drake, guys. Another attack and defense debuff. Um, this one is defense debuff, ma uh, magic attack, magic defense is Nyx. So anytime you see Heck doing some damage, Hands of Fury, as you can see, look at his debuffs right now, guys. He has negative uh, eight attack. He has negative um, six, I think, uh, magic attack. And we're just the Choo Choo is actually healing us. Carlos needs to heal himself, so he's cured himself. That actually takes off your um, buffs, so be careful for that. Um, and you, you're just looking for that. That's a debuff. Uh, that's a buff taker. So you gotta watch out for every time he's taking out your buffs. And now we're calling for the unison. Calling for the unison. So we unison up, put up some more buffs, so that we can get some more damage on him. Okay. Right there, I was actually able to use unison, but hold, held, uh, held it up. So basically, um, I'm waiting for the right moment to use it. I want to cycle out. Uh, the buffs remember if I would have used my unison there it would have used a uh, a unison green and it would have took more time I also have a unison here but I decide not to use it because I want to cycle it out okay I want to save people's lives cycle out the unisons we debuff him a good amount killing we try to kill him off right here he's getting a cure off now I use um, I use my uh, judgment right here hold on the unison still hold on the unison still I see that everybody's at good HP now use my unison that he's he's using his high damage a thousand strikes and now at this point we have a high amount of buffs uh, all our cooldowns are up 
And now we're busting out every cooldown right now, trying to kill him as fast as possible. Boom, all our cooldowns go down, and he's dead. So that is how you do a smooth run with... Actually, you know what? We, we messed up in the, in the on the wolf part, so that wasn't even a perfectly smooth run. But we still got it done. And... Um, it's actually a, it's an easy way to do it guys um, if you have these very very base minimal amount of monsters which is like a ha any haste monster uh, preferably a golem or a, or a dinosaur uh, you can also use an egg you can have a choo choo which is a really easy monster to get or the valks if you have valks Nyx is like the event monster that pretty much almost everyone has um, or if you don't even have Nyx you can do a fire drake so this is not, by the way, going to get you onto the top of the rankings, but it'll get you the Hekka, um, and it'll get you uh, the, the monster, uh, and the um, it's really good for, for Lancers because it is actually attack and uh, magic defense. So it's it's the one that's good for fi uh, fire, and then neutral are good for Lancer, right? So this is pretty much a celebration dance. Uh, everybody's all like happy that we beat it. Um, I think uh, Myla uh, was the one who actually needed it, um, but yeah, uh, thank you everybody that uh, came came along on this run. And yes, I'm telling everybody to say hi to YouTube, so um, everybody's saying hi. Uh, so that's good for them. Um, so yeah, I hope this helped you guys out a lot. Um, if if you if you like the video or it helped you out at all just give me a thumbs up that'd be great and in the comments below tell me how you like the video uh, subscribe would be also very very uh, welcomed and it'd be great um, and if you like to donate uh, like um, like uh, Justin and uh, <coughs> Zespire and Chi Meng we're doing then that would be awesome you just go ahead and hit up the description and you can uh, I give you a shout out and you can get um, get some of the merchandise when I start getting merchandise I'll shout you out on those um, those spawn videos uh, when I do them so I think that's about it for this one guys um, if you have any questions about uh, any of this stuff hit up the comments below and a lot I really thank you guys uh, as a community for answering some of those questions for me sometimes uh, when people are asking them all right, I think that's about it. So as always, thank you for watching and take it easy. Peace.